Hey, Oni, how are you? Hi, Tamal, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, I'm actually calling because uh, I need some help. And I was wondering if you can help me with uh, setting up and configuring Modelizer Plus um, to connect to the packs. Yeah, sure. Let's go for it. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to share the screen and I'm going to start. Okay, so we can see the home screen of Modelizer Plus. Where do I want to go? Uh, let's go to the settings. Okay. Okay, go to the setting to the storage server. Storage and click server. click the add new. Mm -hmm. All right, add new. Yeah. So what should I start with? Let's start with the A title. A title is the DICOM name of an application, like in the DICOM network, it defines the different applications. Every application, every station has its own unique name. So the PAX can uh, identify it. Okay, the A title of our PAX, this is the remote A title. Our, our PAX is called ZIKIT, Z-I-K-I-T, capital. All right. Just in case our viewers wondering where they should get their AE title from. So when you configure something in your hospital or clinic, you will probably call your PAX administrator. That's the guy that is in charge of the PAX and he will give you this information. All right. So next we have remote host. What is the remote host? A host name is the name of the computer in the general network, in the TCP IP network. Uh, we can use either a host or an IP address. Uh, the host name of our PAX is Carlos. It's not case sensitive in this case. All right. And you also need the port. Right, so what is a port? Port is uh, on a computer, on a server, you can run many applications and each one that uses the network or listens for incoming connections has its own port. Okay, so when you call an application, uh, you call its port. Like uh, if it's a web server, it will probably listen on port 80. DICOM applications usually listen on the standard port for DICOM is 104. Our box, Zikit, uh, serves all the DICOM services on the same port, 104. Okay, so now that I've put in the remote AE title, remote host, remote port, and I'm making sure these are all correct, what should mm -hmm. I do next? Uh, let's verify it. We have a DICOM verification service, uh, the CFO commands. Just click it. Okay, so now that yes. it's verified, I can save, right? Yes. So now we've established this connection. I was wondering if there are um, some kind of errors that can happen to the way, maybe some questions our customers have from time to time about configuring this storage server. Okay, so the most common is uh, when you get the, you can't connect to the server. Actually, let's, let's simulate this, maybe edit it and just change a port. Put a different okay. port. So I'm going to do like that. For example, so I'm going to go to Echo just to make sure mm -hmm. I can do it. Okay, so you get here a peer aborted association or never connected. It means that we try to connect to the server and there's nobody listens to or we just didn't get it. So mm -hmm. this is the most common error and you need to check your parameter, the host name and the port number. All right. Okay, another common uh, error is when you don't get the AE titles correctly. Mm -hmm. If you remember, I said that the host and the port are on the network level, while the AE titles are something unique to DICOM protocol. Mm -hmm. So if, for example, uh, the AE title of the PAX is different from Zikit or your AE title, let's go, maybe click save here and go to the DICOM listener section. Okay, and here we configure, you can stop the listener. And here we configure the A title of your workstation. This is the identification of your modalized plus. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if for example, we, and we've configured this uh, in advance in our packs, so he knows this application, but if you change this, for example, okay, just put something else. Mm -hmm and then go to the echo on the storage server section mm -hmm. down. 
Yes, and click echo here. The echo. Okay. Okay, you see here you get a different error, which is association rejected. This is different from not being able to connect. We are able to connect, but on the DICOM layer, when we compare the eight titles, the pack says, sorry, I don't know you, or mm -hmm. you had the wrong eight title. All right. So let's say you go to your PACS administrator, he tells you the AE title should look like that, and then we will go back. Yeah, usually to echo. Usually you'll. It should work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much for this explanation, Ronnie. It was Thank very you. Good. Thank you. Bye. Bye.